Also today, there was a key committee hearing on Capitol Hill. It could produce some much anticipated whistleblower evidence in the Hunter Biden tax fraud case. House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Jason Smith here announcing the closed door session before they went in today, saying, quote, we expect to review concerns that the Biden Justice Department intervened and overstepped during an IRS investigation. Meeting comes in response to Hunter's plea deal with the DOJ on tax and gun charges. Also, Hunter's initial court appearance in regards to the plea deal has been set now for July 27th. The judge overseeing the case was appointed to the federal bench by former President Trump, but in the past has supported presidential candidates on both sides of the aisle. Joining us now to talk about this, host of the Rubin Report, Dave Rubin. Dave, always great to see you, and I apologize in advance. We may have to go to that breaking news with Prime Minister Modi if it does happen. So thanks so much for sticking by with us. I will step aside if the Prime Minister makes a speech. Isn't that kind of you? Okay, so let's talk about this plea deal. There's a lot of questions, you know. Uh, why did it take five years for the investigation of two misdemeanor tax counts, a gun allegation? Seems like that could have been confirmed in about a month. Also, there's a curiosity why Hunter is not facing any charges for interstate violations, videotaping himself perhaps, engaged in a host of prostitutes of uh, hosting drugs. Seems like that laptop, Dave, had hard evidence, but you know, maybe because, well, I don't think there was a lot of curiosity about the laptop. Check out Hunter's attorney here and when he was asked about that. I can't recall being asked about it, to be honest with you, um, but there's nothing about the the situation that's being that's been filed that has a thing to do with the laptop why not i don't know you'd have to ask the prosecutors oh okay uh let's not look into the laptop and the treasure trove of evidence that could be sitting there makes sense right i mean first off his lawyer doesn't come off as very lawyerly but okay i'll accept that maybe he passed the bar <laughs> exam somewhere but look there's a couple things here uh, first off, you might want to ask Wesley Snipes what he thinks about someone getting off with a slap on the wrist when it comes to federal tax evasion, because mm. he spent three years in jail because of federal tax evasion. So clearly, Hunter Biden is getting preferential treatment on that. The bigger issue that I think most people are seeing here is that Donald Trump is being hunted down for 20 different things. We don't have to get into all the specifics on that. But Hunter Biden, it's not about federal tax evasion that people are pissed off about or think that something is rotten about. It's about the $83,000 he got a month from Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company, while he was a crack addict, doing things with prostitutes, having no experience in the energy field or as a consultant or in international relations or anything else, because he got the job for one reason for access to his dad, who was vice president at the time. That's the thing that the real scandal is about. The slap on the wrist, okay, you're not gonna go to jail because of federal tax evasion, we're gonna let you off on this gun thing. That's just the, the system's way of saying, oh, see, we don't only go after Republicans, but in essence, it's, it's really just a dog and pony show, and I think most people see that. That's right, and you know, the Foreign Agents Registration Act, FARA, as you mentioned, he could have, you know, he failed to register as an agent. Many say he also violated, there's another crime there, allegedly. So, all right, uh, Dave, uh, but you know, all of this, we know the mainstream media is going to say, you know, you gotta, you gotta leave our president alone. Uh, you can't be, you know, can't, I can't be asking him about his son, Hunter, who he loves so much. Listen to MSNBC's Claire McCaskill. She got very emotional. I think Joe Biden has shown a wonderful role model to the country about unconditional love. What, what do these jerks in the House want Joe Biden to do? Throw him out? And by the way, everybody needs to back off Joe Biden about this. He loves his son. Back off. It is okay for him to love his son. And there's nothing wrong with it. Back off, Dave. We need to back My off. My God. Biaga, she's a perfect leftist. She's a perfect Democrat. She's a perfect MSNBC contributor because it has nothing to do with the facts of the case. It has nothing to do with the potential scandal that we just discussed. Why did he have this job in the first case? Nobody's saying that Joe Biden can't love his son. I even said on my show uh, yesterday, and, and I repeated it earlier today, you know, you can have a lot of sympathy for people that are hooked on drugs and people that are hooked on alcohol and all sorts of other things. Every single human being has had their own struggles in life. No one is debating whether anyone is worth a second chance or the love of a father to a son and the rest of it. This is about a scandal, but this is, you know this, this is what the lefties do with everything. Somehow they want to make it seem like if you ask questions about the crackhead who had the basically million dollar job at the company, he had no 
uh, qualifications to be at, that somehow that is an, uh, an infringement on the president's love for the kid. And it's just crazy. It's just crazy. We have the issue. We shouldn't be talking about, you know, yes, the gun who his brother's widow, who he was dating at the time, ended up throwing in a dumpster. I mean, it's us. It's us, Dave. We're really dysfunctional to even go there and have these conversations. Bianca, you remember when Donald Trump Jr. had lunch with somebody on the Upper East Side like seven Ooh. years ago and everyone kept saying, my God, he's a Russian plant, blah, yes. blah, blah. Can you imagine Claire McCaskill going on MSNBC that day and being like, Donald Trump loved his son. Leave him alone. Don't role challenge model. the love of a father and son. Come on. That's right. I know he's a role model. Dave Rubin, I wish we had more time. Appreciate it, though. Always good to see you, my friend.